guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are here recording on Friday, July 5th, and we are looking at Mr. Ron Harper Jr., who will be joining the Celtics for Summer League. Uh, I'll pull up his real GM page here. I probably should have had it up, but I just have the highlights up. Uh, and Ron Harper Jr. Uh, has spent the past two seasons with the Toronto Raptors. He, excuse me, he appeared in nine games with the Raptors his rookie season and just won this past year. Has played in the G League. Uh, for the Raptors, 905 in both seasons. Uh, he is a six foot four guard, uh, 24 years old, was a part of the 22 draft class, um, played his college ball at Rutgers, spent four years there. Or he spent four years in college. I don't know if he actually spent all of it at Rutgers, but um, <clears throat> yeah, all four years at Rutgers. Uh, this past season in the G League, he averaged, let's see, he only played in the Showcase Cup. He didn't actually play in the regular season for them, but in his six games uh, in the G League for the Raptors, 905, he averaged 13.8 points. Uh, 3.8 rebounds, 2.3, uh, 2.8 assists, excuse me. Uh, and then let's see, 0.8 steals, 0.3 blocks. Um, <clears throat> and shot 45% of the field and 19% from three. Not a great three point shooter, even in his uh, previous season with the Raptors 905 in 22 23. Uh, he actually shot okay uh, in 29 games. He was 36.6 from three and six attempts a game. So I suppose there's some sample size of him playing better. Uh, average 17, uh, 5, and 4. One and one on 50 37. So there, there's a little bit of, of, of hope there, but yeah, Ron Harper is the newest name uh, for the Celtics Summer League roster for you. Son of an NBA great. Well, NBA champ. That he is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where you draw the line for for great, but yeah, a notable NBA <laughs> alumni. Sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, I was not aware he was a part of the Raptors organization before joining the Celtics Summer League team. We, Saw the news break this afternoon. I was very much aware of who his father was, but um, again, didn't know that he had been around for a little bit. So this, while somewhat exciting, isn't quite as exciting as it might have been if he was undrafted this year. But yeah, no, he's been around for a couple of years. Did I mean, they brought in Banton last year for the summer league, right? Uh, yeah, well, they signed. he was just signed to a normal contract, but yeah. But he played the summer league. Okay. He did play in summer league, yeah. So I don't, I don't really know if Ron Harper has a legitimate chance to make this Celtics team this year, but he two could way. end up in Maine. There's, yep, there, and they, they have do have those two, two ways. Spots open. Mm -hmm. So that's really going to be a big key to watch for because those two ways are up for grabs. There's two left with Drew Drew Peterson inking the one yesterday. Probably more like one left. You have to imagine Anton Watson is a strong favorite to yes. get one of them. Um, but JD Davis will probably have to fight for it with some of these guys. Uh, there's a chance maybe Anton Watson gets a second round exception if they really like him, but that sounds pretty unlikely because I think they want to leave that 15th open for flexibility. But <clears throat> we do have some Ron Hopper highlights. We can start with some of the most recent ones. Um, actually, we don't really have recent ones. This is uh, they're all from like a year ago. Um, but we can watch all of them. Uh, we can start with his NBA. Highlights, he doesn't have many, spoiler alert. But um, this is a game he played against the Bucs. I just figured it's best to get a little bit of action non-G League in here. So, excuse me, we can start with this. It's only like a minute long, but obviously he didn't play much. Banton is out there, so you know it's a little bit of hold. Here he goes. <clears throat> nice finish. So it's, it's finesse finish. Not a str I, I don't know if you would call it a strong finish or not. Mm. <clears throat> Relatively speaking, that was a pass. Excuse me. Um, where is he at? Number eight. He uh, loves a drive. Tough. Loves yeah, a drive and a finish with the left. And yeah. one on Thanasis. <clears throat> mm. Loves a drive left. It's a good start. At? Awkward. Thoughts on the jumper? <laughs> awkward. Very awkward. Very <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Prize Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active users. Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Unlike other apps on prize picks, it's just you against the numbers. All you do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Get in on the daily action with your friends and become part of the prize picks community. If you're looking for promotions, prize pick has got you covered every single week from lowering select player stats projections on Tuesdays to help your lineup hit or getting your entry fees back if you have a losing lineup on Fridays. 
Prize Picks is available in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Sam and I use Prize Picks all season long. You guys saw it before all of the pregame shows, but now it's the off season, so we got to find some other things. Take a look at the Red Sox, Jaron Duran. Never know, he's been pretty good. Might as well take a look at his hits. You look at Caitlin Clark, the WNBA. You look at Alyssa Thomas, the WNBA, the Connecticut Sun, right there. The points, more or less, who knows? They're pretty good this year. Download the Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. That's code CLNS on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Also, I saw somebody in the comments get mad at me for like saying I didn't like Tristan in a room much, like saying this guy sucks. He doesn't even say why I don't like him. My whole thing is unless you are very, very, very good at another skill, if you can't shoot, there is a very small chance you ever get significant playing time or a chance to play on the Celtics team. That's just the reality because they already have the stars. They already have Derek White, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. They already have their core moving forward. And the way they have won games <clears throat> like over the past X amount of years with that core is surrounding them with good defenders and good shooters. And so unless you are a elite, incredible defender or an incredible rebounder or an incredible playmaker, if you can't shoot probably not going to see the floor and, and, and Tristan and, and Aruna, maybe the shot comes around, but all of the skills that he is best at feel like they are best fit for rebuilding team where he can get a bunch of shots up and practice shot creation. And that's just not what he's going to get in Boston. And so I don't like dislike Tristan and Aruna as a player. I don't, I just don't think he's a good fit for the Celtics. Maybe they like him. Maybe they can work with the shot. And if they feel like they can work with the shot, then obviously the talent's there, right? He's a decent playmaker because he played, you know, a high level, um, or, or excuse me, he, he played a large role on a lower level college team. So he had to play make for others. He's a good rebounder. He's a big body, but if he can't shoot, then I just don't see the world. And Ron Harper is in that realm too of like, I, 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 we're going to keep watching obviously, but if the jump shot's not there, I question like, I don't know. I question it and maybe just go for talent, but it, it feels like shooting is, is the, I don't want to say end all be all, but it's, it's very, very important if you're going to be a Celtics two way player, I think. Yeah. It feels like if, if you're looking to come onto the Celtics team, like you mentioned, you have to have an elite skill. And if you don't, you're probably not going to be able to contribute. And if you're the Celtics right now, you're looking for contributors, even if it is at the very lowest level, right? Like even as far as the two way goes, there's going to be nights inevitably where guys are out resting that you're going to need to dive into your depth a little bit more. And when those guys have their numbers called, you really hope that they're ready. It doesn't necessarily feel like um, Harper Jr. or Anaruna are quite there just yet, but they do have a little bit of promise to their game. Like Anaruna, we saw he's a pretty good finisher. He's a decent um scoring option in terms of he had the experience of having to carry a team in college. We're seeing Harper Jr. get on the drive pretty consistently here. It's one of his strengths. Uh, the three-point shot, well, it looks a little awkward. Seems to work okay at 36% in the G League. He, like, so. shoots it from his chest. He, like, flicks. It's like it's like if Jakeem Noah's nice shot became more competent, if that makes sense. So so an upgraded <laughs> version. The premium Jakeem Noah shot is yeah. what we're going to call this? Correct. Okay. That's what I'm going with. Oh, we got a defensive highlight. A little, little steal. <laughs> Shout out. I like that. Oh, you got to pass it. Okay. I thought he was to get a pass it. I was like, oh, brother, you're not making it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Is he going to drive left? I wonder if he's going to drive left. Oh, look well, he went right true. the last time we okay, saw. Okay. <clears throat> nice little, little drop-off pass. He clearly has comfort in being an initiator off the drive. Like, Getting downhill, making the decision. He hit the guy on the bounce pass out of the dunker spot. He's finishing through traffic. In the summer league, at the very least, he's going to be a tertiary, secondary option, maybe, where you can give him the ball, trust him to kind of get downhill, and then go from there. I suppose. I suppose. I guess we'll, we'll see. Uh, let me see. All right, I had to pull up the tier list just so we have it when I'm ready. I forget about the tier list. It's been so long because they just <clears> won't <throat> announce the roster. He's an okay playmaker for what it's worth. Who is that guy? That guy looks so That's familiar. the guy that plays on the main Celtics. Oh, Kyler Kelly? Yeah. No. Is it? Pretty sure it's him. Wow, interesting. I didn't know he was in the main. I could be very wrong, but I'm I'm pretty I sure. He was an him. undrafted rookie last year. <clears throat> Maybe oh, that's definitely know. him. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> that's definitely him. That Did dude. say Kelly or something? No, he's just white Robert Williams from the G League. 
<clears throat> Damn. <laughs> it was an exciting watch when I went up there to Maine this year. <clears throat> yeah, he's just older. He's 26. Maybe that's the 26-year-old yeah. you're thinking about. Maybe. Yeah, he was on the Raptors last Wouldn't year. Wouldn't mind seeing him on the summer. <clears throat> would be cool. I don't think he'll be there, but it would be I don't fun. Think so either. He seemed kind of pissed off in Maine when they were bringing Nimi up and down and he wasn't really getting a consistent role. Oh, really? Yeah, and he was a good defender up there too. Like he was doing was a good job defense. blocking shots. Yeah. <clears throat> That's Damn, a good drive that was right a there. Fun dunk. Ron Harper Jr. loves a drive. We're just talking about everybody but far. Ron Harper Jr. Yeah, Shame no, on right. us. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. We got more highlights. What else we got for Mr. Ron? I think Raptors 905 is a stupid fucking name. I'll yeah, I don't it. get it. What is 905? Is that the area code? Area code of wherever they're playing at. Let's take a look. We should know this from GeoGuessr. I'll give it a Google. I will say Ron Harper's a good playmaker. Not like, like incredible. Toronto, yes. Like whatever, but he he is it is like he he knows how to make the right pass, which is comfortable making the lob pass. He's putting him in a good spot to finish him off. Not bad. Defense, defense, another defensive highlight, another steal off of a good defensive stand before the steal. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just one of those picking the passing lane statistic steals. Like now he earned that one. Big body bump and one. That's not a foul. (laughs) That's a generous. Generous foul. He looks like he has a little bit of ways to go in terms of his body. He needs to get in a little bit better shape. Yeah, probably. He is, yeah, he's listed at Unreal GM. They list him. Let's see. Yeah, he's listed at 6'4, 233. So he's he's a big boy for, for 6'4 uh, by NBA standards. <laughs> which is okay if you're still Fine. athletic but it doesn't seem like he has quite the same burst he's had a, a he's decent cool at using dunks. his body on downhill drive a couple cool dunks. But they're not dunk dunks they're a little no, he had a dunk dunk he had a dunk dunk he postered a guy are you watching i'm teasing i'm, I'm joking step that's back. a nice little little move it little was. Arc on that one it feels like he would be a better pull-up jump shooter than a catch-and-shoot jump shooter Hey gang, let me tell you a little something about game time. Now that the NBA season has come to a close, you got to get yourself out to an MLB game this summer. You want to go to Fenway, you want to go to your local bar park. Game time is going to get you there. They are an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes tickets easy to get. Prices on game time app actually go down the closer it gets to first pitch. Who doesn't love using it? I sure do. I use my game time app to get my dad tickets for Father's Day. And I got a fantastic deal. It's so easy to use. Again, you can get those last minute deals. They have flash deals and zone deals. It's easy. You can take a look at your seats on the app to see what the view is going to be like before you get there. You don't want to get stuck behind a pole. I'll tell you that happened to me once. It was not fun. Again, last minute deals are fantastic on game time. You can save up to 60% off buying those last minute tickets for sports concerts comedy theater and more download the game time app create an account use code clns for twenty dollars off your first purchase terms apply again create an account and redeem code clns for twenty dollars off download game time today last minute tickets lowest price guaranteed he that seems comfortable sense. with the ball in his hand so i bet yeah. you he has more experience on the pull up than the catch and shoot yeah, like I, I feel like that jumper him. translates better to pull ups than jumper than catch and shoot, which is fine. I'll look at our guy in the middle down low there. How much you put think you put on this game? Look at him in the corner. <laughs> is that him? I think that's him. I don't that's know him. who you're talking about, Mr. Jonte. <laughs> oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> I thought that was him. Maybe I saw not. somebody on Reddit today <laughs> being like, "Why don't NBA players just bet their unders?" It's like they did. <laughs> Nice drive. Nice little up and under move. He Finish. uses his body well. Touch. I, I think he is going to be a fun initiator to watch in this summer league. It's just mm-hmm. tough because they have some guys like they have Springer. They're going to have um, J.D. Davison playing on the summer league again. Like You're going to have a couple options handling the ball before him. So his role will be probably not what he's used to. Yeah. 
It'll be interesting to see how he does in an off ball. He just feels like he's so much more comfortable playing off the pull up rather than catch shoot. We haven't even seen really any catch and shoots from him. Hasn't had it, to. Yeah. He's probably because he's We're there. See one right here. Right, right. Nope. No. Off the pull up again. It's such an awkward shot. He like flicks it. I feel uh, like okay. we're going to see a lot of awkward shots when we watch these <laughs> prospect videos. This is probably very true. <laughs> all right, let me find a picture of him to throw into the tier list. Uh, all right, he went to Rutgers. This is fine. I'll take a Rutgers picture. If this is a WebP, we'd have a terrible day. Let's see. WebP would be very, very difficult. Tough oh, to deal with. We are good. Okay, here we go. So um, <clears throat> here's what we got for tier list. Um, we put the G League guys up top, or the sorry, the rookies up top. Tristan and Aruna C. I would be okay going move and Aruna up to B and move Harper down to C. I think I like Anaruna a little bit better, but I'm curious to know what you think. Yeah, I mean, Anaruna coming out of college makes him a little bit more intriguing. Like, we haven't really seen him play at a professional level just yet. Like, there's a little bit They're of around the same age in terms though. of. They are around the same age, but like there is like, what's he going to do on the next level? Is is he going to take a step up in the summer league? Is he preparing for this? Like yeah. watching his highlights, he seemed like more of a quote unquote bucket getter than Harper Jr., which is more what this summer league team needs. Oddly enough, like I don't really think they need another offensive initiator. They're going to have Springer. They're going to have J.D. Davis and like they're really not going to have a lot of opportunities for Harper to have the ball in his hands the way we saw in these highlights. So I think you're going to get more of what you saw in that first clip of him playing against Milwaukee and Thanasis, where it's just like catch drive. And Aruna really showed he's got a little bit of a bag on that left side of the floor, likes to fade away, likes to use his left hand with the push shot off the glass. He might be a two way guy. I don't know. See, I think they are similar in the sense that neither of them is great. Like catch and shoot guys off the ball guys. They, they, are better, more comfortable with the ball in their hand. Better um, form of the two. The, I, that's where I was going. I, yeah. I think Anaruna's probably got a little bit better form overall, like a, a form you could probably mold better, um, especially for getting shoot. Like Ron Harper might have the better pull up jumper just because it's so like it feels like it moves with his body. Um, I, I think Ron Harper is probably the slightly better playmaker, but Anaruna's four inches taller. He seems like he's a like Anaruna is an NBA body right now. Like he, he lives in an NBA body. He, he, he could play in the NBA. If he, like if he shot, you know, X percent from three, he would have gotten drafted. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he, he's very clearly an NBA body. Um, <clears throat> the shot's not there yet. You got to work with that. Um, but he can rebound pretty well. He's a good, <coughs> excuse me, playmaker. Curious to see what he looks like on defense, but I like him a little bit than Ron Harper Jr. Ron Harper Jr. Seems a little bit small, uh, hasn't really worked out at the NBA level, like you mentioned. And the three point shot doesn't feel like it would translate very well to catch and shoot. Still like him, maybe he'll prove me wrong, would love it, but <clears throat> I'll probably throw him in the C tier. And I think this is the final order for now. Yeah, fair list, very diverse <laughs> list. We have everybody in every one each tier, top yeah. to bottom so far. Not yeah. bad, some more to come. All right, anyways, uh, that does it. Let us know what you think of Ron Harper. Appreciate you for tuning in. All that same, take it out. Yeah, thank you very much for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel at the bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. We'll be previewing all of the Summer League guys once we learn about who's actually going to be on the roster. The team hasn't quite told us just yet as of July 5th, but hopefully coming down, leading up to all these games, we're going to have more info, some mixtapes for the guys that you may not be as familiar with. We're also going to have full-length pods dropping Tuesday, Thursdays, Sundays, always, every single week. We're here for you. We also will be doing daily uploads. So. Again, hit the bell, leave a like, comment, tell us what you thought. Uh, you can find us on Spotify and Apple as well. All of our pods and when we have game recaps will be on that feed. So five-star review there, pretty please. You can email us, hbtcpod at gmail.com. Tell us what you thought of Harper Jr. Tell us your atlas. Tell us whatever thoughts you may have on the Celtics this summer. We'll be reading them on the pods. You can find us on socials at How About Them Seas, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook's the name of the pod. Streams are there. They're on YouTube. And they're on Twitter. Jack's Twitter's at Jackson1NBA. Mine is at Samuel Francis.